Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I am back with a plan with me video. It has definitely been a while. My last one was in April. So I'm glad to be back and uh, making, creating for you guys. So um, as you can maybe see, I gave my craft room a little bit of a makeover. And it's just looking all pretty and nice now. And it just really helps me to be creative and inspires me a lot. And I, I really like it. So um, hopefully a little craft room tour for you guys very soon. Because it's just turning out so, so pretty. But it's not completely done yet. So let's go ahead and find where I left you guys last in my journal. That's going back to my April spread. As you can see here. So, um, yeah, this is the last thing I made. Oh no, actually, I think it is my social media spread, but uh, the last monthly spread I made was for April. And yeah, thinking back of April, it was like, kind of different then. We were still very new to everything that was going on, and now I think it's gonna to be a part of everybody's um, rhythm. It's just a whole new lifestyle that we're doing. So for April, uh, I didn't journal a lot. Well, April maybe I still did, but like for May and June, I didn't journal a lot. And then July, I've totally gotten back to it. So this is the social media spread that I did for April. Back in April, I was also still like posting. I was making multiple videos. So here are the spreads that I made. This spread right here must be my absolute favorite spread I ever made. I just really love the colors, all the little elements, just using all different kind of pens, pencils, just anything. And just the sticker, super cute. I love the gold sticker on the left top with the little cat. Yeah, I really like that spread. And also in April, I actually did the 31 days of yoga with Adrian challenge here on YouTube. I really wanted to get into yoga, um, to get into sports, which I have been doing. And it was just it's super nice. So if you're, you want to try out yoga, go ahead and go to Adrian's channel to, uh, to do a little challenge there. It's just, yeah. So I made little trackers for that as well. So I could, uh, could keep track of that. So this is the empty spread for me. I left a little bit blank to make like a monthly spread, but I didn't end up making it. So I just wrote down May with a little, little bit of flowers. And this is what I made for May. I really like this spread as well. I love the colors in the blue and I like the little um, weekly calendar on the top for the weekend. And here I did some journaling. So here you can see, this is when we got our new kitten, Wizzy. Um, he's super cute and Pooh really likes him. They're getting along really nicely. So uh, that's something that I wanted to journal about as well. And this was actually the, uh, the last spread I made for June. So I made only one spread for June. Yeah, so I didn't journal that much. But June was like not a like great month for me because we were supposed to get married in June but because of the coronavirus that didn't happen so yeah still a little bit sad about that but we'll definitely still have our big wedding when everything goes back to hopefully how things were used to but now in uh, July I picked it up again um, in July things were opening up again in Holland as well so uh, I had I made some plans again and since I was journaling again I was also sharing again on Instagram so I made a little um, page about that with a calendar which I like just the simplicity of the calendar and here on the right side I just love the green and like the warm vines with the sunshine on this these pictures it's nice and here the weekly spread just like I said I had plans again in July um, it felt like a full week when I had like every day I had somewhere to go which is like weird but um uh, thinking back up before it's like a, an easy day but now it's like a busy day so i had to make a little weekly spread about that and lately i've always also been putting in like these little reminders about drinking water and being kind to myself 
I just love because I always flip back through my journal to look for inspirations for my new pages and I just see the reminders like drink water, I do yoga, uh, smile, which is also not, always a nice reminder to just smile. So here you can see I just left the space empty, I just forgot to fill in, so I might come back and just draw some doodles. And this spread was last week, last Friday, when Malus and I from the Dutch Scrapper, we announced our little challenge that we're doing in August. We're doing a 31 day prompt list where you can do every day something creative with that prompt. So make sure to go to, uh, to Instagram to check that out. And I really like this picture that I'm pointing to right now. I had this for a long while, but I don't even know who these people are. But I think the man there is really pretty. So that's, yeah. And this is where we are today. Um, it is Monday, July 27th. So I made another weekly spread for this week because I actually have vacation right now. I have three weeks of work. So enough time to do the challenge and to uh, create so that was it i'm just flipping the page here and going to get started on my uh, week, uh monthly spread for august and uh, i didn't have a plan for how i wanted to do this but i just started out with a calendar on the right just a small one going back to my uh, yearly plans to uh, to look at the at the calendars to see what day it is what day the first starts and everything so i'm just drawing that out here and um yeah, I was looking back at it and seeing that uh, for 2020, I had planned that we were getting married, which is probably not happening anymore in 2020. So I was a little bit sad about that. Sometimes I, I, I don't really mind we can get married another time. That's not a big problem. But sometimes you have these little reminders that's like, oh, it, well, make me a little bit sad. So just to get started, just putting down some washi tape and... Um, yeah, let's make this, Brad. So, um, what do I have to talk about with you guys? I've been away so long that I don't even know everything that happened. Um, well, first, of course, my craft room makeover. I initially just wanted to put on some blinds on my window, just because in the afternoon the sun just shines in here and it's getting so hot. So I had to get some uh, curtains in front of my window. And I got those at IKEA and going at the IKEA, you guys, if you go at IKEA, you always come back with so much more. And I was on my own and when I was early in the morning, so it was still a lot of people there, which was nice. And I just went through it and I bought a lot. I bought the packboard first, um, which I've been obsessed with. I still have to figure out the perfect layout, but for now i really like it just having everything inside and i've been using my stems a lot more since i can see them now and yeah just super nice to have that so if you want it as well go to ikea you can get it there i got a new desk light um what else did i get oh i got the I got some things to put into my wardrobe. I had this big brown wardrobe in my craft room, which was absolutely huge and taking up so much space and it just looked so dark in this room. So I wanted to brighten it up because it's a really pretty closet and a wardrobe and I didn't want to get rid of it or move it to another room because I kind of need a storage and I wanted to display all my pretty things here. So. I went ahead and got some light gray paint and I painted it and then I first I took out the door because there was a door with a mirror on it and I took it out and then I painted it and I put some this lovely wallpaper which is my absolute favorite we have it in the hallway as well with these monkeys on it it's like this um, yeah this jungle wallpaper with black and white and it just looks so cool and then I left the planks in it the shelves I left and them just like normal wood color as they were and it just goes so well together i just love it a lot uh, so i i actually put that whole process down on my instagram in my stories and you can see it um probably i made a post about it as well but if you want to see the progress of how i made it you can go to the highlights of my studio and then you can see like my craft room then you can see uh, all the things that i started it like two years ago and how it got into where it is right now which I really like to see that. I love to watch studio makeovers and craft rooms. So yeah, I've been uh, I've been busy doing that, and I've been learning the piano, you guys. 
Um, I've been doing that basically every day. I uh, installed this uh, this app, which um, I don't know if I told you, but I was playing this Smurf game, the Smurfs Village, on uh, on my iPad, and it had this ad for Simply Piano. And I know a lot of people are a little bit sketchy about this, but I love to just practice something from home. And I've always been playing the guitar and just like a little bit of chords on the piano or just uh, playing some simple memories by, of melodies by memory. But I never was able to read like sheet music. I, um, I knew the absolute basics about it. I knew if you had like the key where you could find the G on the, on the lines. Um, and then find, and then I could just count up and down to see what note it was. But I didn't even know about the bass clef that that's what you play with your left hand. I was so surprised with everything I learned, and I've been learning so fast with this program. So, and it's just a lot of fun to play with it. And now I've actually, after a month, I've been playing the full fur release piece, and now I'm learning uh, river flows in you. And it's just like, yeah. It's like so fast progress. I think I'm playing for one and a half months now. And I've just been playing like an hour every day, basically. But I really like to get better at it and learn. And I just, I think it's so cool that I can just take some sheet music and look at the notes and understand what it says and just play it. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. So actually, I've been practicing on this really old keyboard and I've ordered this beautiful digital piano with like this build around so that it looks like a real piano and it has probably be, be here within a week and I can't wait to decorate that as well. So I have to hang up my guitars and then my studio uh, slash craft studio um, is completely done. Yeah. So to get back to this spread, um, yeah, I've been just pacing down a lot of stuff like I always do and I use my Tombow marker to write out August. This marker is my favorite color. I use it like all the time. I like barely use any other Tombow colors. Um, but I've been figuring out what color number it is, but it has been scratched off, so I can't really see. So maybe if I find out, I will put it in the description box. Um, so yeah, I've write out, written out August, and I didn't want to put any like, um, numbers of the month on the right calendar because that would take up like a lot of space because it's so small of a calendar so i made like a little calendar on the left side so i can just look at it to see what day it is and then yeah now i'm just writing out um, a little august you're here so soon or something like that and then um, i'm just pacing down some stickers so I think like my system now with storing everything and being able to take everything with me as well in my pouch is just has been perfect and I've been throwing away a lot of stationery as well because I just always use the same stuff. So why do I need all those things if I don't use them? So I, uh, I take them to the thrift store or to our scouts group so the kids can use them or and I also made a pile for my crafty friends so that they can have some. It's just uh, yeah nice to have a clean stash of uh, supplies. So I've already been looking for new stuff as well. So always when you put, yeah, when you get rid of stuff, you have to get new. <laughs> That's like not a smart idea, but um, yeah. I've also been doing a lot of plant care. Um, I've been basically looking at all the plants I have, which are like 30 plants in the house. We have so many plants and looking at ways that I can propagate them. So I have so many babies. Actually, that plant that you saw in this, uh, in these beginning shots, which is the banana leaf plant and the fiddle leaf fig, are both two babies of bigger plants. Um, and I just like, because they're already so big. Um, and I think that's just really cool to, uh, to have my own plant babies. So I'm writing out the the thing, the big things, the goals that are happening this month. Um, so we have the Creative Summer Challenge, which I want to talk about for a little bit. First off, go to my Instagram at Esmehabing or to the Instagram of Malus at the Dutch Scrapper. I will link them both below. And you can find a challenge that we're doing for 31 days in August. Every day there is like a summer prompt that you can use to create something about and that we're going to share on our feed, on our stories, whatever you want to do. And that we just have this nice community of people creating this summer. 
So I definitely want to encourage you to, to join us because it's going to be so much fun. We already have a bunch of people who um, are already sharing a lot, who are already going to share their preparation for this challenge. And every day we will do some shout outs on our stories of uh, everything that you guys make. And um, we're going to make some stuff that you can use like stickers and yeah, it's, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So if you don't have anything planned in August, because, well, most plans are cancelled because of the virus, that's initially why we thought of this idea, uh, go and make it a creative summer like we are doing and just create something every day. And it can be very simple, like we have prompts like uh, your favorite washi tape, so you can just... Um, Take a picture of how you used your favorite washi tape in your journal or just take a picture of it generally or you can make like a whole spread about it whatever you want everything is fine um i even have a, like a friend joining us who doesn't even do anything creative but she does love to just share her favorites or and that yeah that she can just share what her favorite is or um, her favorite summer outfit or something like that so Go ahead and check out the prompt list down below on our Instagram channels. So one thing that I love to do is use different medium. So I use my fine liners, I use my brush pens, but I use, also use pencils. And that way you just get a little bit of more of a yeah, feeling to the spread. And that's it. We are uh, almost done with this. So here we are with our last shots. I hope that you like this video. Um, if you did, make sure to like it, of course, leave a comment down below because I always love to chat with you guys, share it with me what your theme of your August spread is and I will see you guys in my next video. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe, there are more videos coming very, very soon. So I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye bye!